PDFs have become a business standard since they aren't as easy to tamper with both intentionally and unintentionally. This makes them perfect for documents that need to be signed, like order forms or contracts. If you're on Windows 10 and find that you need to sign one, dozens of PDF editors can help you sign your PDF. Here's how it's done. If you're signing a PDF document on Windows, it's best to use Adobe Acrobat DC. If you don't already have it, just click on the link in the description below to download the app. Once it's up and running, open your file, scroll to where you need to place your signature, then click on the Fill and Sign option on the menu on the right. Click on Fill and Sign again when the app asks what you want to do, then click on the Sign button in the toolbar when it brings you back to where you left off. Next, click on Add Signature. You can either add one by typing using the given fonts, drawing with your mouse or touchpad, or adding an image of your signature. To generate a quick signature, just click on Type and type in what you want your signature to read. To see how it looks using the other available fonts, just click on Change Style. When you're satisfied with your preview, just click on it to select it, then click Apply. For a more personalized signature, you might want to draw it out. Just click on Draw, then use your mouse, touchpad, or drawing pad to sign above the blue line. If you aren't satisfied by the result, just click on Clear to try again. The easiest way to upload your genuine signature on the platform would be to use an image. Sign a piece of clean white paper, then take a clear and level photo of it. Make sure only your signature is visible on the frame. Save it to your computer, then click on the Image option. A finder window will pop up for you to locate and open your file. Adobe Acrobat will attempt to create a digital signature from your photograph and display the result. If you're satisfied, just click on Apply. You can only save one signature at a time, so make sure you're happy with your results. Once you're set, just click on what you need to sign to place your signature on the document. To use it in the future, click on the Sign button again under the Fill and Sign toolbar and select your signature from the drop-down menu. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering PDFs and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.